What's up guys and gals, it's Mizuna. Welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Minecraft. We are working on a custom mod pack. Um, this is episode one because I never actually rendered, recorded, uploaded slash thing episode one in the old world. This is the very first time we've played in this new world. We're building a custom mod pack. Lots of things to do. Lots of fun to be had. Um, we're gonna get more and more into the changes that we've been making. This pa this pack is work in progress, so expect changes. Um, it will be available for public consumption once it once it reaches an easy uh, or not an easy, but once it reaches a decent point in development, so that I am confident that uh, it won't crash people's computers and such. So I'm gonna get started like you always do, chopping down some trees, and we're going to talk about the design philosophy I had when making this pack, or I have, I should say, while continuing to make this pack. The philosophy that I have been operating under is that all of the mods should work together. Um, there should be a heavy emphasis on magic mods rather than tech mods. Um, I know some of you will be disappointed by that, but we will have tech mods in there. Thermal expansion plays a key part, and all of the mods should work together seamlessly. So, for example, to get to, like, the second tier of any of the modifications, be it thermal expansion, Batania, astral sorcery, wizardry, thomcraft, uh, any of them, you'll need to get at least to the first tier of progression in basically all of the other mods. So I think that's going to be really cool. For, for an even better example of this, let's look at the uh, Thomcraft. Oh, what's it called? Let's look at like the Runic Altar, for example, from Batania. This now requires the arcane workbench from Thomcraft to be made with V and V crystals. The Runic Matrix requires Thom requires Batania runes in its crafting recipe in order to be made. And I might even be changing this. Uh, I might I might be changing this a little bit as well because I think something else is supposed to go here. I think Nitor is supposed to go there actually. But yeah, so that's just one example of what I'm talking about. Everything works together. Um, the other design principle was to keep things as simple as possible. So we're we're trying to get to the minimum number of mods to fulfill to fulfill our goals basically. What are our goals? Our goals are to have fun and to encourage players to try out some mods that they may not have seen before. Um, especially the magic mods. I really want everybody to enjoy playing with some stuff that they haven't done before and that'll be fun. And the way that I'm doing that is I will be developing an entire uh, quest line for this pack that will take new players that are unfamiliar with mods through the progression of the mod pack and teach them about the mods as they go so that everybody's welcome, everybody can learn, everybody can have a good time. I'm quite excited about this. Uh, so let's really get moving here. I'm going to, in this episode, hopefully get a little bit of a starter base going. Um, you may see a little bit of a time lapse do where I build a little house. We're going to try and get to the first level of Batania, if possible, because that is the point of this whole thing. Um, for which we need books and there's gonna be some exploration and some other stuff that's done anyway So I'm gonna get back to my twitch peeps for a little while. This is all live streamed uh, In real time at twitch.tv forward slash Mizuna games You can find that link in the description down below this video if you want to come hang out with us If you're seeing this video as it goes live, we are live right now So go ahead feel free go ahead to uh, click that link come say hello ask questions leave suggestions I'm open to criticism constructive or otherwise uh, And I will see you guys there and I'll see you guys in a few seconds as well
After much work, our house is ready, as you can see. Uh, we've done a bunch with chisel and bits. We've got kind of a, th a thatch roof. Uh, machines, as in redstone fanciness. F redstone fanciness, and if you want... If you want to know what I'm talking about, really, then uh, I have an endergenic generator tutorial that has some popularity. Anyway, uh, yeah, talking to Twitch chat, just another reminder, this is live streamed Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays on the Twitch channel. Link is in the description down below you. Go ahead and click it. Come hang out. So we've got uh, we've got our white flowers you saw, you saw this get built in the time-lapse just a second ago. We don't need to talk about it. We do need to sleep, so let's do that. Um, we're getting some OpenGL errors. I have no idea what's causing it. I'm not too worried, though. We've got our mystical white flowers, so what do we need to do next? Next, we need a petal apothecary. How does one make such a thing? Like this. Cobblestone, any type. Cobblestone slabs and one petal from one of the Batania flowers. So if we go into our crafting table here... We make some slabs. We place the blocks. I'm doing it wrong. It's like this. Like this. Hold on. I believe... There we go. Like that. Yes. And then... I forgot to actually make the petals like this, and like this, and like... This? Hey! Petal Apothecary. We got there in the end. Um... Did I change the bucket recipe? <laughs> I hope not. No, I did not. Okay, so next we need some iron. We've got our petal cup apothecary. We're going to look for a pure daisy. And for that, we need four white petals and some seeds and a bucket of water in the petal apothecary. I'll be right back, YouTube. Iron and bucket acquired. We fill this up with some water. Very nice. To make the pure daisy, we craft these in our crafting table, getting our mystical white petals, and we also need a seed. So let's find some grass to punch here. We need a wheat seed. Shouldn't take us too long. Will this seed work? No time like the present to test it. This is an industrial hemp seed. This is not a wheat seed. From one graphic artist to another, tell her she is awesome. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. All right, so you can right-click. Not with that, though. Stop that. You can right-click. No, you can't. Apparently, you have to cue them in. So you just throw the petals into here. You can see them swirling around in there. And then if I throw an industrial hemp seed, does it work? It does! We have a pure daisy! Isn't that exciting? I'm guessing you don't know what a pure daisy does or is, but... uh. I'm about to show you. So, if we smelt some cobble, let's do wood first, since I have it on me. All right, it is magic, I know. It's amazing. So, watch this magic. This is even more magic. Uh, YouTube, if you hear me talking to random people who aren't here, it's because we're hanging out in Twitch. I'm just going to spam you with reminders this entire episode, apparently. There you go. Now look at that magic. He's a witch? No, I'm a wizard. You're a wizard, Steve. Okay, so. We've got white particles. Here we go. Let's do it. Become a thing. Any day now. I believe. Right. About. Now. Scratch that. Now. How about now? Isn't it nice? It just adds a little bit of flair to the world, you know? I like that. What are you doing? Do your thing! The shape of the trees. Could you could you become a thing? It always takes longer than I think it does the first time. There it is! Hey! There we go. Living wood. So, what can we use living wood for? Well, all sorts of things. For one thing, it's a great building material kind of unlike any other texture in the game, which unique textures are always very helpful for creative builds. And also, it can be used for uh, sp mana spreaders, which are what we're going to be using it for first. Dinosaur Rampage 51 takes a full 60 seconds to transform. Welcome to the chat. Yeah, I know it's about 60 seconds, but 
I had forgotten. All right, so we've got our living wood. We've got our pure daisy. I'm going to figure out what we're going to do next, and I'll be right back, you two. We have enough stone to build our uh, thing. Mana pool. Mana pool. If I open this up, mana pool. Pool. There we go. Here's the mana pool. It takes five living rock. And that is... Uh, Am I a Midwesterner? Pacific uh, Mountain Daylight Time, or Mountain Standard Time right now. I'm in Idaho. So it's the Pacific Northwest, technically. <laughs> okay, so... It's a fabulous mana pool. I didn't know that was even a thing. Okay. Yes, we've got enough to make our mana pool. We're going to make our mana pool. We're going to set it down. One day I'll find another Canadian streamer. Hey, my hometown is an hour away from the Canadian border. So I'm the closest thing you're going to find stateside. Other than an actual Canadian immigrant, obviously. <laughs> mana pool. Check. We set it down, it does nothing because we need mana in it. And that, my friends, is going to have to wait until next stream. It is late at night, it's time to call it a night. We're gonna find somebody, so you're basically a Canadian. That's right, <laughs> basically. Okay, we're gonna find somebody to raid. You're gonna see my screen here. Did I press the right button? Hold on, I may have pressed the wrong button and we may still be recording. Yep, that's fine. Welcome back, all you people on YouTube. Um, it's been a day. We are now in... Uh, it's now Thursday, streaming schedule. And uh, we're live once again. We're playing some Minecraft. We are back where we left off. We got the Petal Apothecary. We got the Mana Pool, all that. I, I picked up my Pure Daisy. We've got the Faithful 32 Texture Pack now. It's made my trees not transparent anymore, I think. Oh, it might be because of better foliage. Hold on. Let me see if I can fix this right now on camera for everybody. Enable mod, false. Done, done. Nope, that didn't help. Interesting. True. Uh, connecting grass. Weird. I don't know why that is. Eh, it is what it is. We'll fix it later. Anyway, so, uh, as I was saying, we've got ourselves... Uh, we've got ourselves a new mod. We've added the Better Questing mod to the mod pack. You can see here, we've already got some quests going. Getting started with Batania is the first quest. We completed this just by picking some white flowers. It gives you stone and the Lexica Batania back. Cool. Flower power. We've already completed this one which required you to craft a Petal Apothecary, a Pure Daisy, and a Mana Pool. I'm not sure if the flower crafting is going to be counted, so that might need to be changed to a retrieval task. We're about to test that with our next quest, the Endo Flame. So, Botanical Magic is driven by flowers. Two types exist, Generating Flora and Functional Flora. Generating Flora are used to generate mana, a blue substance responsible for magic. The first generating flower that you have easy access to is the Endo Flame, a flower that burns fuel similar to a furnace to generate energy in the form of mana. Note that the Endo Flame cannot accept sources of fuel with a secondary output, such as a bucket of lava. Please see the crafting recipe to the right, or the relevant Lexica Batania entry for more information. So then I can just click here to get the recipe, and you can see we need two brown petals, a light gray petal, and a red petal in the Petal Apothecary to craft this bad boy. So let's try that. Um, I think I have, I have red certainly, and I think I have light gray. Do I not? Doesn't look like I do, actually. Okay, so it looks like we're going on a quest for light gray and brown mystical petals. I will be right back. After much toil and much heartache and much exploration, you can see, we finally come home with light gray flowers and brown flowers. Not even very many of either, but we have enough to make our endo flame. By the way, this is a flower pouch. Uh, for those of you on YouTube who missed it, 
This is crafted with wool and a petal, and it can hold one stack of each variety of flowers and it auto picks up, makes it very useful. On our quest, we also got a horse. We found a saddle in a dungeon and we picked up a horse. He's a really fast horse too. Um, like that's pretty much the fastest you can get, I think by default. And then I think you can breed them faster. I'll look it up later. Um, and we might, that might be our form of tra travel for a long time actually. Anyway, uh, we also picked up a bunch of stuff. We've got a name tag, a music disc, uh, a bunch of raw mutton, which I am going to be cooking right now. If only we had some charcoal, which we do not. So I'm going to cook that first. Yes, so uh, let's get on with it the crafting of the Endoflame. You can see I was looking up the Iron Chest mod. Let's look at it, right? We want an Endoflame. To get an Endoflame, we need brown, red, gray. So let's grab a couple of brown, a gray. We only need one, but it gives us two. And red. And we also need a seed of some variety. We're not going to use our Giga Pickle seed, which is a thing that we have now, by the way. A Giga Pickle seed. Don't question it, it's a thing. Also, if the game's looking different, it's because we installed Faithful 32 uh, texture pack. I'm not, I don't recall if I talked about that on camera with the YouTube people or not. So, it's looking a little different. The uh, leaves are no longer transparent, which is a weird bug with. Batania, or not Batania, but uh, Thomcraft and Optifine and the Faithful 32 texture pack, or possibly any texture pack. I'm not really sure. It's weird, whatever's going on. All right, so we need seeds. Um, Ken has tall grass. Yeah, hemp seeds. Perfect. So industrial hemp seeds, by the way, can be used to make plant oil, can also be used to make hemp fiber which can be used to make a bunch of stuff, including string, hempcrete, apparently. That's weird. Uh, hemp rope coils, for decoration purposes only, will not transmit power. Interesting. Is hempcrete, hempcrete used for anything? Apparently you can make stairs and slabs out of it, so that's kind of a cool block. We might actually use that at some point. Anyway, uh, Back to the task at hand. Two brown petals, a light gray petal, and a red petal. So both of these, one of these, one of these, and our seed. I also got the strange dreams thing from uh, collecting. Oh, and that reminds me, we also made a new quest getting started with Thumbcraft, which requires us to collect 10 of each of the V crystals, which we, as you can see, have collected everything but Ignis and Perdicio already. The reward right now is five levels of experience. I think that's going to be changing, but, you know, we'll see. So, brown, brown, gray, red, and you can see the recipe gets triggered there. We throw the hemp seeds in. We now have our endo flame, which means that we can go back to flower power. Oh, nope, so crafting does not work. Perfect. Um, so, for those of you who are interested, uh, how this mod works. I'm just doing it. I, this is an edit mode because I am an admin, so I can do that. No, we do not want to consume required items. We want an item. We want that item to be endo flame. Done. Back, 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 back. Detect submit. And then the reward is one more endo flame. So, botanical magic has driven my flowers, two types. I think I already read this on camera, actually. So, claim that endo flame, and both of those are done. So, we now have a couple of endo flames. Excellent. What do we do with them? Well, they're used to generate mana. The problem is, you can't just plop them down and feed them fuel, and then they'll feed it to a mana pool. You need a mana spreader. Mana spreader. So that requires gold, a petal, and some living wood, which we will get to in just a minute. I'm going to add that quest off camera here, um, and then we are going to make ourselves a mana spreader. BRBs. 
Okay, so we've hit a road bump. Uh, I died a couple of times searching for gold. And then I found the gold. And then I realized I can't actually mine the gold. Because to mine the gold, we need an iron pickaxe. To build an iron pickaxe, we need iron plates. To build iron plates, the first way is to put together a hammer with three iron ingots to get one. Then later we can do one to one in the metal press and the compactor. So how do we make an engineer's hammer? We're gonna need traded sticks. I just so happen to have built a quest for this. Getting started with Immersive Engineering. Immersive Engineering is an excellent early game, early to mid game tech mod with a lot of really cool features. In this mod pack, you may have noticed that you can't actually make any tools out of metals without metal plates, which you can make one of three ways, with the Thermal Expansion Compactor, the Immersive Engineering Metal Press, and the Engineer's Hammer. To make the first two, you need metal plates. So let's make a hammer. You'll need to set up the first multi-box structure in Immersive Engineering, the Coke Oven. Feed it fuel and get the delicious creosote with a bucket. Craft some treated wood and use it to make your hammer. The Coke Oven is a 3x3x3 hollow box made of Coke Oven bricks. If you're lost, go ahead and craft an engineer's manual from a book and a lever. It will guide you through Immersive Engineering. And I will give them an Immersive, en an immersive Engineering engineer's manual once they submit the engineer's hammer. So. Hammer requires treated sticks, requires treated wood, which requires treated wood, 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 which requires wood around creosote. Creosote is made with creosote oil in a bucket. Creosote oil is made by putting coal into a coke oven, which is made with coke oven bricks, as I said. So coke oven, no, it's coke bricks coke brick okay clay brick and sandstone i'm gonna get some of this together also i'm gonna change the quest to say coke brick instead of coke oven brick and i will be right back all right so i put the multi-block together and uh, i realized i need the engineer's hammer to make it actually form up because you need the engineer's hammer to right click on it to form it up. So we changed them, some things around. Now the plates require creosote. The hammer requires any stick, not just treated sticks. And we are going to make ourselves an engineer's hammer and get some of this going on right now. Um, if we had sticks, it would be great. Okay, we'll make more sticks right here. And then do we have string? We do. Engineer's hammer. Get. And. The coal brick oven. This is not how you form this, apparently. Hmm. I'll be right back. Alright, small snafu there. The uh, coke oven needs to be a full cube, 3x3, three three, not a hollow cube as I thought. So that's perfect. Can you accept charcoal? No. So you absolutely do need coal. That's good to know. So we've got our coal oven. We've got our... Uh, we've got our engineer's hammer. We're going to put this coal in here. And it's going to slowly convert into coal coke and creosote which is awesome. It doesn't have a flashy animation or anything, but it looks kind of cool. Okay, so anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode of Magitech? Question mark? We're not sure what we're calling the pack yet, but this is going to be it for the episode regardless. We will be back uh, next time. These episodes, I'm not sure how often they'll release, once a week at least, um, and then we will continue on the Batania track. We'll continue developing the mod pack, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, however, for now, I'm going to wait for this to craft its first piece of coal coke. Maybe I'm not, because it takes a really long time. Wow, that takes a long time. Yeah, I'm not going to wait for that. Okay, so that'll that'll produce coal coke here and creosote here. And then we can fill a bucket with creosote, make some plates, make a pickaxe, grab the gold, 
Um, this really encourages you to get into the immersive engineering, the, the better recipe for plates quickly. Um, compactor requires gears, requires plates. You could do it that way, or you could do the metal press. I want to encourage players to use the metal press before they get to the compactor, so I'm going to make this use, like, something else rather than bronze ingots, probably. Maybe I'll make it use, maybe, like, yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll change the recipe somewhat to encourage players to go immersive engineering first. And then, yeah, there we go. We've got 500 millibuckets of uh, creosote oil and a piece of coal coke. This stuff, by the way, is like three pieces of coal. So you can craft, you can smelt like a lot more with it, which is cool. I'm going to smelt up some glass here because we might as well. Um, anyway, so I will see you guys next time. It was a lot of fun today. Thank you all for hanging out with me on this episode. Thank you all for hanging out during the stream. I'll be back streaming Saturday um, now because this video will, will release on Saturday. So if you're watching this when it uploaded, I'm live right now. Click the link in the video description. Come say hello. See you then.